am Wolfgore here. So today I am going to be updating you on the situation with the Twitch stream. As some of you I'm sure may have noticed, we are still streaming on YouTube and you might be going, but why? But why? I've been getting this question a lot on stream. What's going on? Are you streaming on Twitch or are you streaming on YouTube? Well, I'm going to do my best to answer all of these questions. So I got Twitch affiliate, which is great news. Twitch affiliate, it's like half of getting Twitch partner. It's not quite the full shebang, but it's a start. It, it's enough. It's Twitch's way of saying, hey, you're on your way to partner. You clearly stream a lot and you know, you've been doing this, but you're not quite a partner yet, which is totally fine. I don't expect to have partner right now, but with the, uh, the fine, fine chaps that did come over to the Twitch channel from YouTube, there's about 50, 60 of you guys, we were able to get Twitch affiliate, which is very cool. The bad news about Twitch affiliate is that we cannot dual cast to YouTube and Twitch simultaneously being a Twitch affiliate or a Twitch partner. It's against their terms of service. So I would lose my channel on Twitch if I tried to dual cast, which is kind of what I was thinking about doing to grow both channels simultaneously. But that's fine, it's too late for that. But the best thing to come from all of this is that I got into Streamlabs. Uh, Streamlabs is a service that I thought was only affiliated with Twitch. Uh, so once I got into Twitch, I started messing around with Streamlabs on their website and then I realized that they had this whole like OBS app OBS is the service that I use to stream with when I'm not on my PS4. So they have their own version of uh, OBS, o OBS, Open Broadcast Software. And uh, basically it's allowed me to do these customized overlays and give those custom notifications, you know, with the little cat dancing and shack. You, you saw the 60 minute loop video. So basically that's what I've been working on this past uh, nine days of the stream marathon. I've just been streaming every day and just troubleshooting, working with OBS, trying to bring it all together for both Twitch and YouTube, get good overlays going, get notifications ready, get donations all set up, basically just do all the behind the scenes stuff and we're basically done. Um, I have been struggling with the bit rate a bit. Uh, a lot of you who have been coming over to the streams, uh, the PC streams, you'll know that we've been having an issue with frame drops, AKA lag on your end. So I was troubleshooting all these different things. I even bought some stuff on Amazon, like this thing that ended up being really shitty to give me a better internet connection. Um, and I realized that my wireless adapter was actually like 10 times more powerful. And I was like venting to my roommate. I was like, I can't believe it. I ordered this thing on Amazon and it should be working better. It should be like having a hardwired connection. It should be better than like the 70 megabyte upload speed that I have right now. And he's like, well, have you looked into your bit rate at all on OBS? And I'm like, no, I haven't. Like, I just assumed that they would, you know, by default set it at a bitrate you could run at. So I changed my bitrate from 6,000 down to 3,000 on Twitch and just like that, problem solved, which is great news. Absolutely great news. I got my money back for the thing or most of it back at least. And uh, we're not having lag. God, I hope the lighting's okay. I look kind of funny with this tree moving around. So realizing that the issue that I was actually having was with bitrate primarily, kind of brought me back to YouTube, which is why we've been streaming on YouTube more, because I wanted to, one, do a OBS stream overlay for YouTube, because that's where the majority of my audience is, and I wanted to figure out the bitrate to see if we could get the issue with YouTube lag stopped. And I think we have. We haven't quite dialed it in yet, but based on the streams that we were doing on Thursday, we got it very close, and this afternoon I'm gonna be streaming on YouTube something just to get that last little bit of bitrate dialed in so that we'll have a YouTube stream without lag. Now, if you remember my ranty lunchtime vlog video about we're moving to Twitch chaps, um, basically what happened there was, I wasn't even sure I was gonna post that. That was just like, I was just having kind of a bad day. I was thinking it was like the first really hot day of like summer starting and I'm an electrician, I'm working outside, I'm roasting, I'm like, fuck this, I don't even, I don't even think I wanna be an electrician. I was just having a bad day, so I made this ranty video being like, I'm just gonna be a streamer, like that's the plan. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna post that. And then when we tried to start streaming Dark Souls Remastered on the PC on YouTube, we were having all of these lag issues and it just wasn't working. And I was like, fuck this, we're moving to Twitch. So it was a very impulsive decision. I was not planning on doing that right now. The initial plan was to start the move to Twitch once we hit 10,000 subscribers, which is still a ways off and then we would be able to bring over a lot more people and get Twitch partnered right away. But looking back on the situation now, uh, I jumped the gun a bit. I don't wanna be on Twitch all the time. 
That doesn't mean that we're not gonna be streaming on Twitch ever. I'm probably still gonna be streaming on Twitch once, maybe twice a week, and YouTube is still gonna be primarily our place of streaming and hanging out. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be really happy to hear that. I got a lot of negative feedback about the move to Twitch, and I felt bad about that. You know, I thought about it, I considered everything, and I was like, you know, I did jump the gun on this. I made an impulsive decision because I was feeling emotionally pissed off about life and stress and everything, and I let it get to me. And I'm glad that we started the Twitch channel. It led me to Streamlabs, which has been so educational. I have learned so fucking much in this past week about stream overlays and donations and setting up all this stuff and merchandising and oh my god, so much stuff I have learned. So it's really, really been fantastic. Overall, this was not a mistake. I just want you guys to know that primarily we are going to be streaming on YouTube, but we are still going to be streaming on Twitch. So make sure if you haven't followed me yet on Twitch or you're watching this in the future, you're a new subscriber, go follow me on Twitch at Wolfcore OG. We're going to be doing at least one stream a week over on Twitch. We're going to try to make make them something a little bit more interesting, a little bit more unique. So the guys who are you know putting in the effort to follow me on two different platforms are getting something a little special for their uh, for their efforts. Well, chaps, thank you so much for watching. I think I said everything I wanted to say about where we're at currently with the topic of streaming. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash that like button. It really does help the channel grow, and I really, really do appreciate it. Leave me comments on any questions I might have asked during this. I might, I don't recall if I actually asked any questions. And of course, be sure to subscribe here if you're new. I love your faces. Beard heart. Look at that, I can actually do a full beer heart because you guys are on a tripod hanging on a tree right now. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Best $14 I ever spent. All right, love your faces. See you next time. Bye-bye.